Hello, we're Brand New Friends, uh, and you're watching IndieBunny.com. That's an unreal description of our music, by the way. And I've heard so many people inaccurately label our band, and that's that's it. I think we sort of, I, if I was to describe it in a word, it would be nostalgic. Um, and I, I think that's probably more due to our upbringings in general rather than the actual music. To me, anyway, it's more we're all very close to our families, and our music I think reflects that and reflects um, those sort of close bonds. And like our songs are generally about love and loss. Um, and that connection to something bigger than yourself, and be it be your family, or whatever. And uh, I think that's probably more than the actual tunes, because we would all have really, really different tastes in music, I think. Yeah, I think we were. I was, but I'm always nervous about everything. I so wasn't. I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we love the album, and it was it really definitely captures our band at a very specific moment in time. And it does kind of fit in with the whole nostalgic vibe because it just really represents a little period that we were going through. And then, um, yeah, it's always nerve wracking releasing music because um, you know, we want people to like it. But uh, yeah, we're proud of it, but we're also very excited for the stuff we're releasing now. Probably, I could say we're more nervous for that, but we're also just really excited for people to hear that stuff, you know? For, for me personally, I, I don't think. I had a chance to get nervous about it because it was all a very rushed process. We went in and we did it really quick, all live, all very bang, it's done. And um, I don't think we really had it. For me, I didn't have a chance to think, how's my family going to react? How's my friends going to react? It was more just, it's out into the world, wow. Well, um, did, did you guys feel that? No, it almost felt like a grammar opportunity when we put it out. It was like, oh, we can put an album out here on a label, so we did it. And we didn't really have, as you say, we didn't have a lot of time to sort of think about, you know, what people are going to think. It was just sort of, here it is. I don't care what you think, almost. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, we did. I would say we actually appreciate making music more now than we did then. 100%. I think we have been given a taste of the, the manic side of it and then the quieter side of it. And because now we've had both aspects, and um, I think now everything that we're doing is a lot more care and love into it. And... Uh, We'll, we'll probably be more nervous this time next year than we are now. One hundred percent. Like we've uh, already recorded a couple of new songs, put everything track there, and I think that track took longer to make than that whole first album. <laughs> <laughs> I think some of the guitar tracks took longer to make than that. Yeah. Um, but that's a good thing because um, we set up in the studio and we put everything we had into it to make sure that when we did release it, even if we were nervous about coming out, we still be proud of it, and we always sort of. You know, we strive to make it the best that song could possibly be at that time, and I think I think we captured that. Yeah. Well, do you I, go for it? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, for me, it was more just um, we. Logan is very new to the band. Um, so, uh, L Logan's our little brother. So three three siblings in the band now. Um, but before Logan joined, it was just the four of us, and Aaron played bass. He's now lead guitar, and um, so I think. At that point, it was it was just okay. We've got to play your strengths here, and what are our strengths? Well, Aaron was an excellent bass player. I'm a very bad guitar player, and Lauren's an excellent keyboardist. So, all I had to do was was keep the rhythm, and it was me and Luke doing that job, and um, Aaron expressed himself on the bass, and it gave Lauren a bit of freedom to express herself on the keys. So, it wasn't really a conscious decision. It was very very natural. We try to keep it that way. We try to keep it very natural. Um, would, would you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's it's just it's a quirky, quirkiness to our sound that we're keeping, but we're evolving. Um, we're not going to lose that element, but um, it's all just growing. Like Lauren has two keyboards now instead of one. Um, so you know, just by having that extra instrument, um, the sound's expanding a lot. So um, yeah, it wasn't conscious, but I'm, I'm glad we did it. We sound like that, man. <laughs> crazy that, one on that that I don't know what they've got. We need to get one of them. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Um, I don't mind them. They're all right, to be honest. <laughs> um, we don't fight that. We don't really fight, to be honest. We're, we're more like mates than family. Mm. Well, no, we're close as well. <laughs> <laughs> I do like them, but yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> but what's like for you, Luke, being in a band with three siblings? Uh, well, you're my mates, you're not my siblings, so it's, <laughs> it's alright, like. 
know. Our, our dad's right there. I mean, you know, <laughs> we take the whole family with us. Do you know what I mean? We just take everyone on the road. Yeah. So no, it's it's like a family holiday, but you get to play a game. We're far we sound really cool right now. Aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we're we're pretty punk. Our band, yeah. Uh, it's always weird, sort of in a way, but and I don't think it's something you really get used to either. Like, I don't know. I always seem to miss it anyway. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, you when when you do hear it or you listen back or whatever, it's always just it's strange. It is weird because you th- you sort of think about well, I'm listening to this. Who else is listening to this at the same time? Cause you don't know who's that else is listening to. It. So it's always weird, but it's really exciting at the same time. I get all excited all the time because I look into a room and it's like office or whatever. And our song was on the radio, but I thought that it was playing it. So I said, this girl was the radio, and she said, so? Cool. I was still looking for a copy in there. That song probably started um, the whole new year. Really? Um, it's band? It's first song, Logan, uh, in the band. Um, it, it, that song actually went through like a lot of evolutions. We, we played that when we were a four piece, and um, we, we wrote it together after the album was done, which why it wasn't on the album. At the time, we were a bit caught in thinking, oh no, this could have been on our album, but we were really, really glad it was after that period because um, now it was Logan playing bass and Aaron on the guitar, and the whole thing of all got bigger, and, and Aaron made it sound a bit like the strokes <laughs> in our heads. In our heads anyway. So um, it was just the sort of song that we'd always wanted to try and make. It's the sort of sound that I had always envis- envisaged us eventually growing into, and it was the first song to capture it. Um, and that was it. It, it. it was very natural. And when we went in to record it with our new producer, he loved it straight away. And it was the last song we recorded for this record, but it's the first one that's out, which is pretty cool. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, you're right. So, so yeah, we've lived with it for a long time, so it's like um, it's, a, it's like a, a really good friend, that song. You know, we always love playing it. I think we just make it Yeah. Like, I've left, like, 15 jobs in the last two months, I think. Like, yeah. But, like, I'm just forced out. Yeah, we have all swapped jobs, different jobs. Uh, uh, and just, like, you have to take the time to do it. Because if you don't, you're going to miss, like, on opportunities. Um, Everything really is an opportunity to do. Every show is really an opportunity, even depending on even any show. So you have to sort of find the time to do it, and if it means you're leaving the job, as well as do it. <laughs> Which one? Yeah. Looks uh, don't long. throw anyone's name under any bosses. Oh no, well, I have to. Yeah, I want to tell a story. Call me something else. Right, there's this guy called Ed Sheeran, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ted Beer. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, we were in the Olympia one night sporting Snow Patrol. And uh, this happened at Pig Ed Sheeran was playing Phoenix Park or something. And he was, uh, came to the Snow Patrol show because I think they're friends or whatever. And I was walking up the corridor and just happened to be bumping into him in the corridor. Just me and him, there was no one else there. So I sort of introduced myself, said hello. And we were talking for a wee bit. And then he, I sort of went, right, see you later, I went to shake his hand, but he sort of went for a hug. He thought, I think he thought I was going for a hug, and then he just sort of tickled my belly, and then I left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, play, we'll play the uh, band Alphabet game. Yeah, yeah that's been drawn out way too long now. Uh, started by our dad, so um, you start off with um, A, obviously, and it'll be like, Abba. At the drive-in, ACDC, and keep going around, and then Lord never plays, because she's very really bored of her. <laughs> we do that in the van a lot. Um, we, what, 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 what do we do? We listen to a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. We listen to music, obsessed with the top of football, and um, break each other. Uh, yeah, just be stupid. <laughs> What, 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 what's going on with you on tonight's show? A lot of rock and roll. Lots of it. To be honest, that's the main thing. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Go to loads from our album, but we've we'll, we'll changed them slightly now because it's a different lineup. So the old songs play better, uh, and new songs, which are even better, um, and it's going to be really fun, and hopefully. 
lots of happiness in that room and fidelity, so support in the sort of really great as well. That's them sound checking. Um, so you're gonna just have lots of good crack. Are you doing that? No way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had a debate actually with a guy, a guy I work with in a band from here. Who are amazing, but I won't name them in case you embarrass any and check them, but they are so good. And uh, we had a debate at work and he said, Oh, if you ever have kids one day, would you tell them to be in a band? And I was like, Yeah. And he's, he's been in bands all longer than I have. He said, No way. I tell my kids to stay away from the people with a guitar and slap them. Um, but I, I think when music's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> and I think if without music, I'd be such a frustrated, sad person. I think even just for your own mental well being, if you grab an instrument and just let your emotions go out, you're, you're doing a good thing. And people might just like the notion maybe. So make that noise. Uh, this sort of our shoes would have Tomorrow we've got Cork and then up Derry and then uh, Home Show in Belfast and then uh, new music coming. Whenever it comes soon enough, probably. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's what's nice. Thanks very much for having us. Yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you at a gig down the road.